Okay, hi, I'm here with Corey. Corey, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? I'm Corey from ADX Studio. I work in our pre-sales department, and I'm here at Convergence 2013, 2014. 2014, excellent. So tell us about what is uh, ADX Studio all about? ADX Studio builds a web portal layer on top of Dynamics CRM, allowing you to have customers interface with CRM through a website without extra licensing on CRM. Okay, so let's say I wanted to get a demo set up pretty rapidly. I've built a CRM uh, 2013 online instance. What would I do to uh, get an ADX demo up and running? The easy way is just head to our community site. You'll see it here light up on the screen. And right here you'll find a little green button that says online demo. You hit that button, it's going to take you off to our demo site. It'll create a new demo deployment for you. This will actually light up the ADX Studio portals in Azure and install all the data and schema requirements into the CRM online instance. Excellent. So what are the main industries using ADX uh, with Dynamics? Right now we're seeing a lot of folks using it for community. Uh, we're working in government a number of different ways. Uh, 311 requests, so non-essential services requests into websites, as well as partner portals. Uh, folks that have a reseller industry that are looking to have their partners log in and work with opportunities. And our latest retail site has been a, a pretty big hit actually. We're working with product line and CRM, allowing customers to come to CRM, see their orders, their quotes, and actually purchase online through the product library and CRM. Uh, so I take it ADX has tools that allow full payment gateway integration? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we currently integrate with Authorize.net and PayPal, uh, but there's basically a setup where you can drop in another user control for a third party um, authorization tool to uh, grab the cash. Excellent. So what about if I wanted to make my portal look like my company or organization brand? Is that a, a straightforward uh, piece of functionality? Yeah, there's a couple of different ways you can do that. We work with Bootstrap, so a Twitter's CSS framework that allows you to skin the site with colors and different shapes, etc. Um, we also have the ability to integrate their templates. So there's a bootstrap templates yeah. that you can integrate. And then you can take the site and just whole hog rewrite write it with HTML and CSS if you prefer for a perfectly branded experience. Excellent. So what's say I was in the situation where I don't want to um, create a username logon for all the people accessing my portal. Yep. Do you support other frameworks around that? Yeah. So we've got a couple of different ways you can get your folks in. Uh, one of them is if you've got a number of existing contacts in a user store, you can invite them to the portal. So literally, you just send an invitation code by workflow, and they come and sign themselves in. And that sign-in can either be with a username and password in CRM or with another framework like uh, Live ID, Facebook, Yammer, Twitter, etc. So any of those third-party authentication providers can be used to log into the portal. Excellent. So having those third-party authentication providers, what benefit does that provide me? Does it mean I don't have to look after the username and password? Yeah. And Absolutely. So th that means that the folks are going to use one of their existing logins from one of these other sites. It means you don't have to worry about password uh, reset or any of those other features at all. You're basically on, they're on their own with that authentication. It passes a token through to the CRM. Yeah, fantastic. So uh, are you saying pretty much any entity within Dynamics I can present out to my portal if yeah. I so choose? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got a number of different samples that are showing, you know, connecting opportunities or connecting, uh, contact us for a lead form. But yeah. really what we're doing, we can do with any entity in CRM, which allows us to do things like the custom forms, custom views that are coming right from the CRM form. Literally, the form that's in CRM showing up on the portal with configuration only in the CRM. Yeah, fantastic. So, uh, do you have any like templates already available for, for different industry sets? What would they? Yeah, be? we've got a couple of sample sites. If you want to flip over to the screen there, okay. I'll just show you a couple here. So we've built a, a couple of different scenario sites that are coming right out of the box with our features in place. Uh, so this is a community portal that's after sales service. You're looking at things like uh, community forums blogs with comments, uh, help desk that connects right to the cases entity in CRM, ideas and issues that allow you to uh, present your stakeholder group with different ways of managing a sort of communication with you as a company. Fantastic. Uh, we look at another one here, we got a conference portal that actually interfaces with an event uh, area inside of CRM that we created, allowing you to have registration and paid registrations to a conference right through the CRM. Wow, fantastic. We look at the next one here, we got a government portal. This portal actually leverages CRM for 311 request like I mentioned earlier, and permits and licensing. This actually is a really good example of our form tool that allows you to build forms in CRM, create wizards that can go step by step with conditional branching and other kinds of uh, uh, configurations that you can do right from CRM to create interesting forms for your web users. Okay. We've got a number of governments taking advantage of this, uh, including a, a rather interesting city called New York uh, that are using it for their 301 request just about now. I mentioned the partner pro 
portal earlier. This leverages some of the stuff we've already got, things like forums and help desk that you saw, but also the ability to manage your account at a level that's deeper than some of the other sites. So you can actually manage your contact record, but also your account and other contacts inside of CRM from your own interface here on the front side. We're really doing CRM work from the web. Brilliant. And the last one uh, is this tool site here. This is our retail example. Again, connecting with the product library in CRM and managing things like customer care from the front side uh, with, again, the login from any interface they have. Excellent. Thanks, Corey. Is there anything you'd like to add in closing? Um, shoot, that's a terrible question. What did you ask me that for? <laughs> no, I think I'm good. I got a good shot at all of you folks. Have a great day. Awesome. Thanks.